fire it, it catches fire in the museum. So it just burns. Yeah. And all that white smoke is here in the oxide. There are a few items that have been added in the dirty up on the Thursday. There's really nasty things if you get it in your body. Cool. Has much the same effect as both mercury and lead. Yeah. Yeah. Which is one of the reasons why the U.S. military had never fired a war shot in training until they got to Saudi Arabia. We don't do it to like somebody else's backyard. That's, that's just smart. Yeah, no, that's good thinking. Yeah, the, the environmentalists just absolutely would not allow any firing range in the U.S. to use depleted uranium. Oh no, you contaminate everything. Oh yeah, you will. <laughs> So we can have contaminated the hell out of Iraq. Well, you got to admit. <laughs> Didn't happen to nicer people. <laughs> well, except the guy that makes my pedo sandwiches down the street. I was telling him how rough it was growing up in Crescent, Arizona in the 60s and 70s. So he starts telling me about Iraq. So like, oh, well, you win. He's like, okay, I'll stop here. Where is that? Northern New York, a very small town. It was originally settled by French Canadian loggers. Yeah. So there's two forms of entertainment. <laughs> drinking and fighting. Yeah. And I don't drink. Never have. So it's definitely limited an option. So is there fights? I had in high school I had to get in two fights a year just to get left alone. Yeah. 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 Away from me, or in our high school, it's like it's like the guys that live for fighting. You know, they have this sort of ranking system, like where you fit. Hierarchy. Yeah, yeah. Where, if you can beat this guy, could you beat that guy? Whatever. You know, and well, I beat him, and then you know, so you've never beat him. him. So then, yeah. So then, you know. If that guy attacks you and you fight him and you win, well, God help you, all the people that have but lost to cool. him, yeah, you know, they've got to, uh, whatever, people have got to like, go prove something. So it's like, and then, and then if you just lose, there's all the bullies that like to beat up on the losers. So it doesn't, it doesn't help no matter, <laughs> no matter what happens. Because if you do, you have to beat up. Yeah. You know, you're going to get in a whole series of fights. The one fight wasn't in a series of fights. The school jungle. No getting out of it. Then my mother, hey, I'm joining the Marines. Well, do you want us to take you someplace so you can talk to somebody? <laughs> I've been fighting my whole life just to get left alone and you're worried about me going in the Marines? But did she want some? She wanted me to go to a psychiatrist. Want <laughs> some intervention? He's thinking about hurting himself. No, I've just been reading science fiction for the last six years and I've was hooked on action adventures. I had a whole lot of fantasies about what the Marine Corps would be like. And it was just like Starship. <laughs> <laughs> Service is rewarding. Uh, actually, I spent most of my time sitting in an air conditioned shop. Yeah. <laughs> I was Sounds like you picked a good MOS. <laughs> I was intermediate level maintenance for aircraft, so you got to protect everything from the dirt and dust so it doesn't get inside the engine and damage it. That's a good MOS to pick then. My niece did two tours in Iraq, and she was a Apache Spellcock. Blackhawk. And uh, I was like, the whole time she was over there, I was kind of like, well, okay, I know there's nothing safe. 
Ryan. Yeah. I know that. I know that. But compared 